The reason why we're going to Washington DC has been teased. The story trailer showed the capital in torment by the many factions that rose to power and mysterious figures trying to take it. I'll be breaking down the most important scenes and clips from the trailer and give a summary at the end. There will be a lot of clips that show new weapons, locations or other interesting details, which I won't get into in the video itself, but I will summarize them at the end. I never pictured my first trip to DC would be like this. After we survived the initial attack in New York, our capital needed us. But with the country slipping into civil war, who can we trust? After months of resilience, we have survived the virus outbreak that crippled our country. Outside those walls, it's perdition. But whatever you're doing out there, we're not feeling it in here. But the fight to save our nation from total collapse is far from over. Get down! Everybody, get down! Ruthless factions threaten to destroy the very fabric of our democracy. Roving packs of hyenas, Religious outcasts and depraved fascists prey on the weak and murder the innocent. For division agents still struggling to hold this country together, it's time we kick our enemies out of their castles. We will not compromise. We will never surrender. This is our defining moment. Our chance to take back our country. Our chance to shape history. Terminate any division agents with extreme prejudice. One of the very first clips shows us a new enemy archetype for a faction that we've already seen in the concept art, the Hyenas. I will explain them a little bit later in the breakdown, but this one in particular looks like a variant of the Bruisers from the Rioters with their baseball bats. These look a little bit more armored though with possible SWAT gear. I never pictured my first trip to DC would be like this. After we survived the initial attack in New York, our capital needed us. In this second clip, we can see another archetype of the hyenas. We know these are hyenas by the green logo on their chest plate, as well as their gas mask. And later in the trailer, it's also mentioned. <laughs> this one looks like an infantryman with his MP5 ST and light armor. The country slipping into civil war. And then there's this big boy in the background. That's a backpack large enough to probably carry your other seven group members through the raids we're going to have. Who can we trust? After months. Here we can see the new base of operations, the White House. Guarded by local militia, civilian militia, it seems they are under constant threat and attacks, and they need some help from us. Resilience. We have it's followed up by a speech by this guy. He's obviously the guy in charge giving a speech like this. Some people have speculated he's the president, others countered his argument by saying he's dead. But that hasn't been confirmed, I believe. He could have been in hiding. Anyway, we don't know who this is yet, so it's all speculation at this point. The person in the background looks like someone we'll be in contact with as well being a second in command, probably. The virus outbreak that crippled our country. This bridge, the Constitution Avenue Road, leads to Roosevelt Island. I quickly googled it, and Roosevelt Island is an area full of greenery and a lush forest. What exactly is out there is unsure. Some people have speculated it will be our starting point in the game, but who knows. 
outside those walls. Then we're introduced to another character, a baldi, one giving the agents some tough love. It's directly followed up with a showcase of the agents under attack and the hostile fire a rocket at them, possibly confirming RPGs or RPG turrets, at least for the enemies. Not sure if we will get them as well. We're not feeling it in here. What the, fight? the next shot shows three agents and gives a lot of ideas on the weapons that will return, since we can at least see six to eight. I won't list them now, but the P416 on the left has the Hazmat 2.0 camo that was part of the pre-order in the division as well. Save our nation from total collapse is far from over. Get down! Everybody get down! Then things get a bit spookier in what looks like a submarine, a sunken boat or perhaps a bunker. There's this really tanky boy, wrapped in caution tape and a juggernaut hazmat suit, carrying a sledgehammer and just hammering his way through the glass. You probably don't want him chasing you around and it's kind of unsure what faction he belongs to, but if I was to guess I would say Outcast, because of the yellow team of the hazmat suit it lines up with their color scheme. We'll get into the Outcast in a second. Here we get a better shot of the hyenas. They are a loosely gang of opportunistic raiders that prey on struggling civilian encampments through violence and intimidation, hence the name hyenas. These hedonistic scavengers take everything they can steal and destroy everything else to deprive their enemies of valuable resources. The hyenas are led by a council of the strongest pack leaders. They are always wearing gas masks, sometimes even covered with SWAT helmets and body armor. We've seen multiple classes so far, the bruisers with the baseball bats, the infantry types, and now one on the left, which might be a grenadier. In their behavior, they might resemble Rikers, but in appearance, they remind me more of the cleaners. Roving packs of hyenas, religious outcasts. The next shot showcases the outcasts, bitter survivors of a forced quarantine bent on revenge against those who brutally imprisoned them and a society that stood by and let it happen. Their charismatic bloodthirsty leader believes everyone is complicit and urges her followers to punish the guilty by spreading sickness and murdering indiscriminately. Three archetypes are seen here, the one on the right probably being an infantry man or woman, the one in the front left being a medic and behind that a shotgunner. In appearance they resemble rioters with the hoodies and bandanas, although with the black and yellow clothes, but in spirit they definitely resemble the Rikers with them getting out of prison and seeking revenge and depraved fascists. Following this up is a faction we've seen before, the True Sons. They are a group of paramilitary warlords bent on using their combat expertise and overwhelming firepower to dominate their enemies and expand their territory. Smart and organized, the True Sons are led by a former JTF officer whose ruthlessness and combat prowess make him and his combatants a horrifying force. We've seen multiple archetypes. On the left is a submachine gunner, on the right is a regular infantryman. We also seen a medic in previous trailers, as well as a tank. And the one in the middle here seems like a heavy machine gunner, although he's not really a tank. Both in appearance and behavior, they resemble the last man battalion. Following this shot, we're in an underground bunker of sorts, or a basement at the very least, partially flooded. And yeah, they have suicide bombers, which is apparently their variant of rushers. Similarly, dressed in yellow, I, I think this guy is part of the outcast faction. And then the motivational music kicks in. Division agents still struggling to hold this country together. We're running and blowing up the National Air and Space Museum. We're having some close-ups for dramatic effects. We'll never surrender. And then there's more shooting. More shooting. Take more explosions, and more explosions. To shape history. More explosions, and more explosions. And then there's more shooting. And then right after we think the trailer might just be over, we hear and see this mystery guy talk. Daddy Keener, perhaps? It cuts to this shot with military geared soldiers repelling from a Black Hawk helicopter, looking badass as poop. Their helmets and armor have the name Black Tusk written on them. They carry M4s, light but division-like armor and overall look pretty badass in black. They also carry a variant of the Isaac Brick Raider on their shoulders, although it in its appearance it looks a little different, hinting at their use of Shade Tech or a variant thereof. 
Their goal is to hunt down the Vision Agents, which likely means they are one of two factions. A DC variant of the Hunters or Third Wave Agents. And as it usually turns out, you'll probably see that it's a third faction, one I didn't think of. And of course, to end the trailer, the private beta got announced from the 7th to the 11th of February. The summary of the factions, weapons and locations can be found on screen before you. Before, during the beta and after release, I will create separate videos on the factions, weapons and give you a tour of Washington DC, including its iconic locations. This was merely a breakdown of the trailer, but there was lots of interesting stuff. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story trailer breakdown, I would like to ask you to like or dislike whatever you think it deserves, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through a link in the description if you're interested in weapon blueprints, build blueprints, infographic breakdowns of factions and characters with summarized information of the videos I will make. To end the video, I have a question for you. What did you notice in the story trailer? Was there something I missed? Or do you have some theories that might add to the things I found? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter, hopefully on all three. And for now, peace out.